at last, 200 years in the making, in honor of the bicentennial of the state of Illinois, it's the HFK Bicentennial Minute. Today in Illinois history, September 4th, 1890, Woodstock Opera House Premier. On this day in Illinois history, the Woodstock Opera House, one of the oldest continuously operating theaters in the nation, hosted its premier performance. It was the musical Marjorie Daw, and critics raved that the scenic effects were excellent, and in every way, the affair was a brilliant success. But the Woodstock Opera House was built between 1889 and 1890 to be more than a mere auditorium. The building also housed the Woodstock City Hall, Public Library, and Fire Department. The auditorium was up on the second floor. But it was the Opera House that garnered national praise for being what actor, broadcaster, and director Orson Welles called the grand capital of Victorianism in the Midwest. In addition, future stars Tom Bosley, Paul Newman, and Geraldine Page, members of a group called the Woodstock Players, formed in the late 1940s, all got their start on the Opera House stage. In dire need of repair and the building was closed for renovation in 1975, two years and $500,000 later with the majority of the funds being raised by local business and area residents, it reopened as a completely modern and historically authentic theater. Today, it hosts a variety of live acts and both local and national renown and is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. One legendary patron, Elvira, is the ghost of a beautiful young actress who took her life by leaping from the bell tower after losing a leading role forever haunting seat 113, or so the theater goers believe. Today's Illinois fact, a number of place names, Illinois itself, Chicago, Peoria, Kankakee, and Ottawa, attest to the early presence of various Algonquian-speaking tribes, such as the Kickapoo, Sauk, and Fox, and particularly those of the Illinois Federation, the remnants of which moved west of the Mississippi after the Black Hawk War of 1832. Born in Illinois on this day, Actress Mitzi Gaynor in Chicago. And that's your HFK Bicentennial Minute.